My PhD was studying the single-celled organisms in meltwater ponds. Now, these are similar looking to the sort of ponds that you might find uh, in New Zealand or maybe at the mountain, but there's a lot of uh, d quite significant differences in their overall the cycles they go through throughout the year. So because Antarctica goes through these massive seasonal changes, the ponds freeze completely solid in the winter and many of them completely thaw out in the summertime. So there's, there's this intricate uh, linkage between the climate and the organisms and because there's such incredible life in these ponds and they're moving so fast and they're dividing so rapidly we see very very quick responses in the in the ponds based on the changes even between seasons but the interesting thing we found was that the same organisms could be found across most ponds but their abundance changed quite uh, significantly so the amount of each particular organism changed and uh, between the different ponds and that was the key difference. Once we understand what is normal in these environments, hopefully we can use these as monitoring systems to find how climate change is changing those communities. And because you can find ponds right throughout Antarctica, you can take individuals from across a, what we call a latitudinal gradient and we can actually follow the changes as uh, the climate changes up the continent.